gone for shopping to a department store. Can I cover it up next? Okay, almost all of you. Now what exactly is the process that you follow while you go for shopping? Okay, what you do is, you reach the store, grab a shopping cart, right? Go through the aisles, pull out your reference list of all the products that you need, check the products, pick out the products that you want, fill your shopping cart, go to the filling counter, print and check out. Am I right or am I right? Friends, what if I tell you that it is all wrong? Yes, you have been shopping all your life completely wrong. What you need to do is this. Reach the shop, reach the department store, grab a shopping cart, then scan the shopping cart of all your fellow shoppers and then pick out exact products that they have taken. Fill up your shopping cart. Go to the billing counter, proceed to payment and check out. Does that seem fair enough? No? It doesn't. That's surprising. I know what all of you must be thinking right now. That's absolutely ridiculous. How can my requirement be similar to someone else's? Why, the, why in heaven's name should I copy someone else's shopping cart, someone else's products? Those are not my requirements. Why should I buy them? Ladies and gentlemen, if copying someone's shopping cart seems outright foolishness to you, Tell me, how wise is it to copy someone's entire life and never to realize it in your entire life? Shocking, isn't it? But trust me, none of us here is to be blamed for it. It's because since our very childhood, we have been brainwashed to compare, compete, and always grip that we are always short of something. Right from the very beginning, we have been told to get marks as good as so and so. We have been told to excel in sports and extracurriculars as good as so and so. We have been told to be obedient and disciplined as so and so. The result, we have turned into a society which more or less resembles a manufacturing unit which is focusing on mass production where the input on one side are humans and the output on the other side are machines programmed to perform certain tasks. This pattern has reinforced which time? Again and again and again. We follow this pattern everywhere as we grew up. Oh, let me go and do an engineering. Why? Because my friends are doing so. I should get a job in MNC. Why? Because the quintessential Mr. Sharma's son, my neighbor, he is doing so. Let me go and do my engineering from a reputed institute. Why? Because my colleague is doing so. Put this pattern to everything in your life. Be it getting married, having a job, living your life till 30 or 40 or 50 and waiting to retire and ultimately waiting to die. Everything has followed a pattern and we have been forced, we have been brainwashed to keep thinking that this is what we really want. But is it what, what we have been looking for? This pattern has made us zombies. <coughs> but friends, is that what humans were supposed to be? We are as different as anyone can think of. Nature has made us different to our core, our DNA. When everything around us screams that we are supposed to be unique, why are we so hell-bent on making us all similar? Mass product, mass produced manufacturer or uh, unit. 
Take for example, let's say in the game of cricket, India has given some legends to the game of cricket, starting from Mr. Sunil Gavaskar to Sachin Tendulkar to MS Dhoni to Virat Kohli. Tell me, are they all similar? Yes, they are all cricketers. But tell me, are they all similar? No. Every time we watch a game of cricket, we constantly hear this one thing. They are playing their natural game. What if MS Dhoni was forced to play like Virat Kohli? What if Virat Kohli was forced to play like Sunil Gavaskar? Do you think they would have exceeded? Or succeeded in their lives? Never. And the worst part is, what if Sachin Tendulkar was judged based on his singing capacity and Lata Mangeshkar was judged on her batting of ability? I think the history of cricket and music in India would have taken a different course altogether. Ladies and gentlemen, the point that I'm trying to make here is every human is unique. But somehow we have forgotten this in this mad race, utter mad race, I should say. We have forgotten that as humans, we have the power, the power to dream, the power to explore, and the unique power.